Since July, we've been following young men and women, high school dropouts, who are getting second chances thanks to the National Guard. We've watched them evolve through months of rigorous training at an academy near Los Angeles. Tonight, Michelle Miller goes along for their first visit home. Take a line and just go ahead and get started. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. When 17-year-old Krista Hopkins arrived at Sunburst Youth Challenge Academy in July, she was a year behind in school and looking to learn from the mistakes she made back home. I was really disobedient. I'd always talk back to my teachers and also to my dad. I just want a life-changing experience, and I thought I can get that from here. In the past four months, she's overcome plenty of mental and physical challenges, but today could be the start of the most challenging. She and the rest of the cadets are getting their first three-day home pass. For many of them, it's the place where their lives went wrong. For Hopkins, it's a place where she learned words can be used to say something painful. You said that words hurt more than anything. Words hurt more than anything, especially by someone you love. Who were you talking about? I was talking about my dad, because when I was messing up during school and all that, he'd always say, you're going to end up like your mom did. I don't know, that kind of affected me a lot, because my mom like messed up like really badly. I don't want to end up like my mom. Is that her there, too? Hopkins hasn't seen her mother since 2007. Chris Grimet is not her biological father. He adopted her when no one else would. I could have been, like, homeless or dead, but he decided to take me in. You appreciate him? I do. I really do. What is it like to hear her say that? I'm glad she appreciates me. Because I, I, want, <laughs> I, 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 I wanted there for a long time. It's like there for a while I thought for sure we were going to end up being enemies. Push up, jump. Push up, jump. When we first saw Edward Tucker, his issue with anger was clear. Get him up. Get him up. Where do you think it stems from? Not really having my mother around. The second Sunday of July, intake day at Sunburst, was the last time he saw his mother. He was obviously disappointed when she didn't show up on family day. I really love her to death. And I hope for the best wherever she's at. To be honest, I want her to be here. She's been in and out of his life since he was three. So his grandmother, Lynette Richardson, has had to step in. I can't really put a reason on why she leaves because she's not an addict or anything like that. She just goes. And I always tell her when she comes back, don't leave. Stick it out. Is your grandmother enough? She's more than enough. Because that's the best thing in my life. Because I wouldn't be anything without her. Nothing comes in my house that's not supposed to be here. Monday, it was back to the base. Welcome home. But not everyone would return. Are you serious? So what is she saying so far? Cadet Vanessa Mejia is a member of Sergeant Edwards' platoon. Explain to me what's going on. Because we've worked too hard. We've come too far for us to allow you to give up this season. He called her back twice, pleading with her to finish. Tell her I'm not going to give up. She says it's family problems. And she'll regret it come tomorrow if we don't get her back in here today. We'll see. Despite Sergeant Timothy Edwards' strong pleas and even a visit to her house that night, Cadet Mejia did not return to Sunburst. So far, eight teenagers have dropped out since they began in July. 208 remain. And Scott, our next segment will be all about those drill sergeants who are so dedicated to this program and why they're sticking it out. And we'll see that story tomorrow. Thanks, Michelle.